Welcome comrades, in this tutorial I will show you how you can manage waste in broken resources Soviet Republic. So I know this update has been out for quite a long time now, but I haven't made a video in over a year and I decided that I should catch up finally to where I left off uh, and this is the first step. So managing waste in this game is not easy, but it's not that hard either, so I'm going to explain how you can do it. First part, we are going to need to collect the waste. To collect the trash, we are going to need three buildings. First, we are going to need some containers. There are two types. Uh, we have the big ones for the industrial areas and the small ones for residential areas. Uh, you can also place the residential areas next to pathways and the garbage trucks are going to go in here and collect it from here. So let's place it down here and the big one here. Uh, you can see the range can see uh, there is a range limit so 125 meters and it's not going to work so as you can see this is too far and the same applies for the residential buildings if it's over 125 meters eh, they are going to take the trash here obviously they don't have all day to walk to a trash can uh, okay we need a garbage dump now there are two types one with a clone machine which makes loading and unloading faster, and the other one is just normal damp. Uh, it doesn't really matter if you choose this, honestly. For this small city, it won't matter, so I'm just going to place this more here. Now, the last building we need to collect it is this technical services building. There are four types, four sizes. I'm going to be using this. Well, some small, I think. This is a small one. Uh, let's place it down here. And now let's start the game and wait for it to be built. And once it's built, we can buy the garbage trucks. Uh, we can buy two types, and we need to buy two types actually. The one is the garbage truck, it's used for this. And the other one is the small garbage truck, it's used for the residential area, so the small ones. Let's buy both of them, and uh, I should also purchase some fuel. And now we, the last thing we need here is to click on this and assign this building. So the mixed waste is assigned to here. Now, I also have to talk about the mixed waste part of this. Mixed waste is, as the name implies, mixed. It consists of multiple wastes, and you can see the ones uh, you can use here. So there is construction waste, which you can recycle into gravel. Uh, Plastic waste, which you can recycle into plastic, steel waste or metal scrap, which you can recycle into steel, and aluminium scrap, which you can recycle into aluminium. Uh, there are other types. Mm, there is also ash, which you cannot uh, recycle, it only can be exported or dumped. You cannot burn it, you cannot do anything with it. And there is also uh, hazardous waste, which once again, <laughs> you cannot do much with it. Uh, you can burn it, but it's going to be very polluting. You can store it, but it's going to be very polluting. Uh, you can export it for very expensive amounts of money. Uh, you can use this treatment plant to make sure most of it disappears, but there's still going to be some which you cannot do much about. You only just burn it or store it or whatever. Uh, okay, so this thing is going to automatically collect the trash from here into this dump building. Uh, if we start the game, and uh, after some time it should start collecting, but it depends on how much trash is in here, so I think maybe if it's half or if it's full, it's going to start collecting. Uh, now for the next part, we need to separate, so to dispose of the waste, you can use burning, so you can use an incinerator plant, you can just burn it and create heat or energy from it, and you can export it for very expensive amounts of money once again, and you can also just store it, which is not a good way, because his, these dumps are going to be full in very short amount of time. And you can separate the mixed waste into multiple parts. Uh, I'm going to be using the um, scrap separation building, but there is also the general separation and the aluminium separation. So the general one separates into four types. Uh, construction, metal, uh, aluminium, and plastic waste, and uh, scrap separation only into metal scrap, aluminium scrap, separation, aluminium scrap. So let's use this scrap separation. Uh, I could use this, but it's pretty much the same for all buildings. 
uh, we need to place it down somewhere around the area where they can work. So um, I don't have to use buses or anything. Uh, this should be good here. Maybe a bit closer. Yeah, and as you can see, there's a conveyor belt connection here, which is quite important because you can move the metal scrap into this building with this conveyor belt, which is very useful because you don't have to use trucks or the, the industrial roads. So let's place this here and let's connect it to the road. Uh, okay, this looks kind of ugly, but I don't really care. And uh, let's connect this to pathways so they can walk here and they don't have to walk all around here. And once it's built, uh, you can see that there will be workers here. And we should probably set this to here for now. But uh, you should give this mixed waste dump on a dump, on an actual landfill, or call it whatever you want. Uh, because these things are going to get filled up quite quickly. Yes, 60 tons might sound like a lot, but if you have more than four buildings, more, more than four residential buildings, then these things are going to get overfilled very quickly. Um, so we should use probably not a small one, but large one, medium one of these, and store that, the mixed waste here, and then move it from here to here with the distribution office, or just buy a truck in a depot and just create a line and do that it really doesn't matter which you use it's just trash so it doesn't matter and as you can see we might have some mixed waste here and uh, now the thing is this thing also produces mixed waste but this mixed waste cannot be used anymore you cannot do anything with this mixed waste as you can see there is 0 0.1 mixed waste uh, you can see there is already mixed scrap here and you cannot do anything with this it's 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 just trash you cannot once again you cannot uh, create it into more metal scrap you cannot separate it more it is there it's just there it's you cannot do anything with it uh, you can burn it that's that's the only thing you can do so let's do that uh, i'm going to be placing down a, a heating plant a heating incinerator uh, this is the one do we have space somewhere for this maybe here the important thing, don't put it next to your residential area because this is very polluting, especially if you're burning hazardous waste. So try to put it as far as you can. Maybe use buses to move workers here, but for the sake of tutorial, this should be fine here. And hopefully they will walk it all the way here. Uh, let's see, yeah, they might. So we can use uh, this um, depot. Let's place a depot down, which is the smallest one. This should be good. Let's place it down here and create a line by a vehicle, garbage truck, and add this as top, mixed waste, and then unload it, mixed waste, and you can start. And it will move this mixed waste, which you cannot do anything with, uh, right into here, and it's going to be burnt. And as you can see, this also produces weak waste. So with this ash, you cannot do much. Uh, you can export it. Basically, that's it. Because you can't burn it. You can maybe store it, but that's it. So, not much, much else. If you go here, you should be able to see the ash. It's only 5 rubles to export, so it's not much. And as you can see, our burner is already working. And as you can see, it's ash. So, uh, that's it. That's it for this video, really. Uh, one more thing. Before I forget, this thing is very important. Uh, these containers can only store mixed waste. However, you can set them into hazardous waste mode. So you can click on this add separation container. And as you can see, you will have this hazardous material container. And this hazardous material, hazardous waste is going to be stored in this container here. So that's it for this video. I hope this helped. Uh, if you have any suggestions or questions, please write them in the comment and thank you for watching.